you can see that we've got the pylon set up. Right. So For years, Leon has suffered from anxiety. On a day-to-day -day basis, uh, just dealing with daily life. But recently has added a new therapist to his treatment. His name is Ranger. Going through the counseling, you actually feel everything because of the interactions with the horses. Psychotherapist Jasmine Chomsky runs two clinics in the GTA where she treats patients in her regular office setting, handling a wide variety of mental issues. She is also one of dozens of equine therapy leaders across Ontario. And how is, what is Ranger showing you um, that lets you know that maybe you are a little anxious? Uh, he's walking a little bit away from me. Right. Equine therapy uses the interaction and reaction of the horse to let clients better understand how they are affecting their own progress. Can you move through me? No. <laughs> it's a stop position, right? I think I'm definitely standing near my goal sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we would look at, um, you know, are you standing in the way of accomplishing your own goals? Well, not just equine, but animal therapy in general has gained popularity over the past decade. But there still has not been much evidentiary study to prove how and if it truly works. The samples would need to be collected and it has to be ongoing to really assess for what purpose it was done, for how long, what are the measures, what are the outcome. It's important study that those in the industry agree needs to be done. There isn't a lot of a research base. We're currently working on a lot of that within the field to provide some um, basis for it. Leon says he now prefers these sessions over his traditional therapy. What happened within just one session, uh, I think it would take me almost a lifetime to find the core. It just got to the core problem. Experts say investigation of all treatment options and taking a holistic approach to your mental health is key. Well, for information on the various types of mental health assistance, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Erin, Audra Brown, City News.